Hey guys, today I'm going to show you off some pictures of the collection I have amassed. Um, there is actually three different locations to the collection. One, my home, which has now become overflown. So that's the primary target of removal right now. And then one would be the Chase Bank deposit box where I keep my Lotuses, Moxes, my Charizard first editions, and so on. And that one is very expensive, but because I have a business account uh, with Chase, it's less expensive than you would think. And I, I think I would always have the higher, the highest end. Now, of course, if you want a Black Lotus or you want a Mox, I got them for sale for pretty good prices. Uh, and the next would be the storage facility. The storage facility that I pay $318 with tax, that's tax included which is essentially the size of this room, a little bit bigger, probably one and a half times the size of this room, uh, and has boxes stacked to the ceiling because they have the little yellow, I ran out of the little yellow things, I had to go to Costco and probably buy more. Now, in terms of what um, I'm trying to sell right now and why I'm trying to sell, I recently quit my job, but it's not as bad as you think. I was planning to quit. I worked in my business, my marketing agency, for 11 years. Never took a single day off. I'm, I'm not joking. I've never took a single day off. So when you have a situation like mine where you just recently had a child and you want to spend more time with your baby, you have to basically make a decision that you cannot work the 80, 60, even if you're dating, you cannot, you have to make a decision at some point in time that this is that this lifestyle isn't going to go run forever. And that, that's the decision I made. That's a personal decision. Not everyone will make a decision. Not everyone even wants to have a child, to be honest with you. But that's a decision I made and I'm very happy with it. So I'm going to try to tell. So, so you might be asking what the F is in these uh, yellow, the valuable stuff. So if it's in a yellow container, that means like, you know, in Houston flooding and so on. We'll, we'll show you the garage as well. Um, a lot of where my collection is, is in, so I'll, I'll break it down to magic. So again, I'm selling all this stuff for really good prices. I've already got contacts of like, oh, I want to buy all your e ETBs and so on. And we're trying to make that work out. Now, I, I am not stupid. So I'm going to wait until... Collecticon Houston, which is November 2nd and November 3rd. I'm going to email, I'm going to email, um, in terms of how many ETBs I totally have, probably over in my home, so not including storage, storage is stacked to the ceiling. In my home, I probably have 1,200 ETBs, uh, a lot of them being Evolving Skies, and the other was Probably the number one one actually being Fusion Strike, but from the Pokemon Center. So we had a collector come in, and, and also I have thousands of these little, uh, of these tins, uh, including Gengar tins, which are incredibly valuable now. So I'm just waiting for like a whatnot streamer or somebody, you know. So I will be attending Houston Collecticon. So my schedule, if you watch my other channel, is horrendous. Even though I don't have a job, I officially don't have a job anymore. Uh, the schedule is even more horrendous than when I did have a job. You can see there's a stacks of ETBs, Persona, and you know those Squishmallows. We got dra oh, there's Dragon Majesty. There's like a case of uh, something else. There's a case of something else that I'm forgetting that is pretty expensive. Oh, Shining Legends. I have six box loose boxes of Shining Legends. Uh, behind that is actually Unbroken Bonds. There's a shit ton of Unbroken. No. Yeah, there's a shit ton of unbroken bonds and then team up. So I don't have ETBs of team ups, but I have like the free packs. I have cases of the free packs of team up where it's like a Typlosion and then free of them and, and so on. Uh, and in celebrations, you know, I, I, that was a set that I thought was really cool. And obviously it, it runs the room deep. So I would love to get my rooms back. I'd love to contact somebody and try to figure this thing out because... Uh, if we do want a second child, which we might, uh, this would be the second child's room. And it's just clogged up. And there's nowhere, like this is like the worst place. There are closets full of just cards. Like everywhere you look, every closet, you know, uh, even the master bedroom's um, clothing thing, which I'll show you, it's just full of rares. And 
So my point is, I think I can get the sealed stuff. There's a lot of interest in Pokemon sealed. I've been contacted by two dozen people already about, you know, selling. But they, they want to, like, spy one or two. It's like, it's not worth my time, my dudes. I need to sell, like, a few hundred ETBs at one time. Uh, for Magic Boxes, yeah, I'm willing to sell them all. You know, again, I can sell them at 80% uh, of the of uh, comps, right, which would be TCG Player. I feel comfortable with that, or uh, even 85% uh, on eBay. The reason I would ask more for eBay is because, like, normally people don't sell large, you know, so, again, eBay fees, or what are eBay fees? 12.9%, right? So I give you some, I give you some feeding eBay fees. 15% uh, on the total sale, up to $1,000, basic fees. 6.5% uh, of sale over a thousand to so it depends on how much money right final value fees 15% so I mean again I think 20% is reasonable TCG player fees which actually TCG player is not owned by eBay it is 9.25 really um, it is 11 cents no 11% plus but that was that was a long time ago the custom website includes a 2.5% Pro fee. So it looks like it's 9.25 plus 2.5 percent for pro fee. So around 11.75, which makes sense. So around you know round up to 12 percent. Uh, so yeah, you you do can make you know a little bit. All of these boxes you see behind you, their rares are valuable on commons over a dollar of those sets. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I would love to clear out this closet and then the the second baby room. Uh, these are all valuable cards in the binders. They're five dollars or more. Some of them are, you know, hundreds of dollars depending on the set. Like there's a binder of just legend cards, and every legend card is over like a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars. There's like a almost a complete set of legends, and including Tabernacle, and there's like a play set of a lot of these cards. So this is the garage. That's my Lexus. I was thinking of opening the garage and passing out Pokemon cards for Halloween to see how that w does and kind of just running, you know, more or less, not like a public store, but hey, you want to do a deal with me, we can meet in my garage. The free car garage, it is plastered with cards. Uh, this is hand-painted, by the way, by a local artist. I think it cost me $4,000, $5,000. We didn't get the EV done, unfortunately, because of COVID. So, yeah, uh, that's baby stroller. So I, I got to organize, you know, there's a shit ton of things. Like, oh, I, I was going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to go to Los Angeles Sunday to do a podcast about Rolexes. And so that's all Sunday. Saturday, we're going to take the whole day off. I'm leaving the kid with my parents. So we can have a nice kind of date night type of deal. deal. So... And today is Friday, as of recording of this video. So Saturday, Sunday, I won't be able to make no progress on this. I won't be able to email. And then I come back Monday, assuming i even in the right state of mind, because it will be exhausting. It's a day trip to Los Angeles on Spirit Airlines. So it's, uh... but, you know, the podcast, it's a big podcast. I would love to be on it. It's going to help my other channel immensely. So we will talk about that later. Anyway, bye, guys.